All right. Last night, David shot his deer. And uh, today, we're going to cook up some heart and some liver. <laughs> We got Uncle Morgan's here, Uncle Travis is here, Uncle Mike is here. So uh, we're gonna cook it up and see how it is. I'm not a big fan of liver, and Morgan claims that liver makes him barf. So, but we're both going to give it a try because Travis says the last time he cooked liver, it was pretty good. So let's see what happens here. Do you want me to go ahead and just go ahead and start with the heart? Yeah, we can. All right, this is flour with a bunch of seasonings in it, like some red pepper, some barbecue seasoning, some garlic, and a little bit of salt. The heart has been soaking in milk and salt overnight. And that, in theory, that should help uh, make the flavor more mild. He's just gonna dump out the milk and salt mixture. And he's gonna give it a quick rinse. Travis has got a little bit of onion action right there. That's gonna be for the liver. Morgan's gonna go just breaded and fried with the heart. We got some coconut oil already heated up. You gonna cook the onions until they're browned or just uh, slightly translucent? Translucent. In butter. Oh yeah, gotta have the butter. Butter. Now that's tenderloin right there. That's the good stuff. We're gonna cook this tenderloin up so that if the heart and the liver are disgusting, we can wash it down with some actual meat. All right, the heart's done. Try a piece, Morgan. And I want an honest reaction. Honest reaction, okay. If it's good or bad. If you're the, picking one, I would pick that one. I'm gonna, I'm gonna start with the sampler size. Whole thing, or just I'll yeah. Where it's your, it's your so serving. Yes or no in the future? Yeah. If you were starving to death? Oh, absolutely. Without question. If you weren't starving to death? It was available. Yeah. I did. It's not bad. All right. No, Travis. it's not bad. I eat them. Yeah, I know what you do. You took a man-sized piece. I frequently eat deer heart, but I'm gonna start with this one. I was gonna say, but it's raw usually when you eat it. That's pretty good. That's really good. It doesn't have any more any taste to it at all, really. Oh, that'll be good. It's a, it's a little more full in that. Uh, you can tell it's not a steak. It's not a, it's not a steak. It's not a steak. It's a, it's a, it's a, you know what? Worcestershire sauce would work good with this. I think. Did you just say the liver tastes like bloody sponge? Yeah, bloody sponge. All right. We've got the onions in there. Uncle Morgan's doing the cooking. They look good. They do look good. They look amazing. It doesn't seem... How do they taste? That's the question. You know what I mean? Sometimes it seems like when you hear people cooking liver or duck, it stinks up the kitchen. You want me to go first? Please and I. Alright, I'm going to go with the big piece. Oh, I'm just going in. Very brave. I'm brave. Okay, look good. It's probably really hot, too. Using the onion. I'm taking a bite of the onion. No. Yeah. I, mean, I, I, I don't trust it. I trust you. I don't trust the liquor. It tastes like liver, but it's not terrible. No. That is a lot better than the last time I had liver. Like, I could eat that. Yeah. Mashed potatoes. I could you could eat it. it if you were starving, or you would eat it willingly next time. Be honest. 
I would eat it willingly next time. Really? But, yeah. I'd want a full meal with it as well. Some green vegetables and some potatoes. Some mashed potatoes with garlic. Alright. Mm -hmm. With blend. I need a bite. That's surprisingly not that bad. No, it's not. I'm gonna go a high ratio of onions to liver. Always safe. Look at that ratio. It's more onion than really. That's not bad. That's not bad at all. Might need a little ketchup. Ketchup? Watch this. Three dips of pork. Next level cooking. Next okay. level technique. It's really not that bad. Success. So hot. <laughs> Success. Oh. Alright, now we got the deep fried tenderloins. There's not even a question. <laughs> They're going to be good. We already know the tenderloins are going to be good. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like, be sure to subscribe, and you can see Uncle Morgan eat more stuff.